Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a custom truss. Let's get started. So let's start by opening a new architecture template. And then we're just going to create two walls. Like so. And then after that, go to file again. And then we're going to open a new family. So look for metric structure raw trusses. And then after that, click open. So here we already have our reference plane, we have our high tier, and we have these three important icons in order for us to create our own trusses. So we have top chord, web, and bottom chord. So to start, I'm going to show you my reference. So this is what I'm going to create for my truss. So as you know, the top chord will be this one. This will be the bottom chord. And then this will be the webs. So let's put this on the side. And then let's create this one. So top chord will be from here all the way to this. And then after that, go to create again, click the bottom chord. And then this will be from here all the way to this end point. And then go back and then let's create the web. So from our reference picture, we will have one, two, three, four vertical. And then let's add this one, two, three, four, five vertical. And then we have those webs as well. So now let's click the web. I'm going to add this for now and then press OK, escape. And then let's add in more reference plane. So I'm going to add the reference here. And then one more here. And then here in this middle. After that, let's click on the line dimension. I'm going to align all of this. And then I'm going to click equal. So everything is equal. And then we're going to add more webs. So here, up to here. And then lastly, we're going to create those slanted webs. So go back and click web from here to here. So just like this. Like that. So we finish here. I'm just going to show you what I reference and what we have done. So now that this is finished, we can load it to the project. And then 
we're just going to create a line. Let's put it in the middle first. And let's change this to level 2. Once we add it, we can check it out at 3D view. And as you can see, we created our custom truss. We just need to edit this. So we could go down here. And then the truss height is this, so 3000. And then press escape, click this one again. And we need to change this offset. And then let's add this at 4000 or 4 meters. Hit apply. And then afterwards, let's go to our south elevation. In order for us to see this clearly, you need to ch uh, change it to fine. And then we need to select everything. Click filter. And then we need to uncheck the truss, structural truss. And then keep check on those charts and webs. Click apply and then press OK. After that, you need to unpin it. So once it's unpinned, we can now edit or extend all of this by selecting tab. And then just stretching this. So let me extend all of this and I'll come back. So once you finish stretching everything, now you need to go to modify and click cope. So select this and then after that the top portion, the top chord. So select the web first and then the bottom chord. Select this to be cope on this. I'm going to apply that to all of this. So I always start with the web first.
So it looks like this. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.